Hi guys, it's Jen. Um, I was going to go over a couple little things in terms of safety and um, how we run the program here, um, just so you're aware before you get here. So uh, the lessons are going to be in a specific spot on the ice when your skater gets here on the first day our instructors will come gather the uh, their groups they'll be calling out the the level um, if you're not sure what level you registered for that happens um, we i will have a list and you can come find me and i'll help you figure out what where you're going on the ice but just so you know once your skater goes to their spot on the ice that will be the location for their lesson every week um, this is the season for things like flu um, and so on occasion we do have to have a substitute instructor so just so you're aware that's the best policy is just remember where your skater goes for their lesson um, we always try to have the same instructor on lessons every week but just in case there's a substitute um, you'll know where to go we have practice ice so the practice ice is included in the lesson time Practice ice this year is going to be on the far side. We're gonna be having our tots here so we don't have to help them across the ice so far. Um, you'll want to, if you're in the first lesson time, so for example, on a Thursday, 5.30 lesson time, or Friday at uh, 3.50, um, there's no ice before that. So what you'll do is take your lesson first, and then once your lesson is done, you can go to the practice phase. Use that time to practice the skills you're learning in your lessons. Uh, if you're here in a middle lesson where there's a lesson time before you and a lesson time after you, you're welcome to either skate on practice space before or do it after your lesson. Um, when you're on the practice ice, we ask that only skaters who are registered with the program um, be on the ice, so we ask that parents stay off uh, siblings, if you're having a sleepover on Friday night and your friend comes with you, they're welcome to stay off the ice and watch, um, but we ask that only registered skaters hop on the ice. Um, only skaters with ice skates on their feet should be on the ice as well, so make sure if you have a younger, younger person with you, one of your family members, watch little kids that they don't try to step onto the ice. Um, and if you need to hand something to your skater, either give it to one of the instructors to hand off to your skater or call your skater over, but please don't step on the ice yourself. Uh, when skaters get on the ice, we ask that they have no food or drink, gum, candy, anything in their mouths. I really don't want to have to practice my Heimlich maneuver. I uh, haven't had to yet. Um, also, especially adults or older skaters, make sure you leave your cell phone, I don't know why I have to, um, off ice. Okay, don't stick them in your pocket because if you happen to sit down on it, I'm not gonna make any promises that it's gonna survive. Um, in terms of falling, if you fall and you're not hurt, please get up. Don't sit on the ice, don't rush. Take your time, get up carefully, but that lets us know that you're okay. When you get up, please don't hang on to anybody to pull up. You're gonna have to be able to get up by yourself. If you can't, if you need assistance, then call an instructor over. We will always have a supervisor, um, somebody supervising the practice space. If you fall and you're hurt, don't move. Somebody's gonna see you and we'll come over right away to help you out. 